Hey guys, Trajan here, and uh, shh, I'm on a secret website to review America number 11. Don't tell anybody about this. <laughs> so America 11 starts as America 10 ended, kind of. So they, they chased out Exterminatrix, and she's going to attack uh, her home planet or some shit. Or the planet, or planet strong. <laughs> and uh, so they hold a rally, <laughs> and there's no one at this rally. <laughs> These people don't. Hang on, these people do not give a shit what is happening. Uh, these people were like mildly paying attention. Uh, these people just happen to wander. Uh, they're playing hacky sack or some shit. And so he's kind of talking to nobody. But this is my. This is the greatest line. We were so quick to turn on each other, and some of y'all are apparently just racist and need to get stomped. Isn't, isn't this school, like, completely minority? Like, wasn't that the point that no white people went to the school? And when white people did show up, the Phi Beta, Beta Gamma, Beta Omegas showed up and just started, like, attempting to clear house. It was absurd. Anyway, whatever. But, so, he says that, okay, no student, no student, no body at all is illegal here. And so do my or you is ours. And so everybody's happy, uh, including including the white guy who's happy there's no curfews because you know what that means. Um, and I just realized he's the only male here. Shocking, shocking. We got a fucking Saiyan over here, like a fucking scouter. So anyway, the fat girl cyborgs, our betas, dove into the fray and fought exterminatrix. And don't even, well, fuck fuck you, the <laughs> fucking fat fucks. Anyway, so we go. So this is the part. So America decides that she's been in school for about what I have deduced to be around three weeks. And that is not included. And that's the amount of time she's actually been on campus going to classes. Because remember, she took like this long extended break to meet back with her lesbian, her ex-lesbian lover who was like an MMA fighter. Uh, so... Anyway, so she decides that the best thing for me to do right now is to do an independent study. And what she's going to learn from this, I have no clue. I tried, during undergrad, I tried to do an independent study, and I got shot down. And I'm not going to go into it because it's kind of, like, close to what I do. But I thought it was extremely, like, relevant, and they said, basically said no. And then when I was in graduate school, I tried to do another independent study, and I even said, I even was using, because you have to present... Basically, you have to make a presentation about what you're going to learn uh, and then the materials that you're going to use. And I literally used all the materials from this this professor who was going to be my advisor. And he was just like, just, no, just, just take a class. Just take an elective. Like, who cares? Just take one, like, take, take one of, like, the first-year classes just to get your credits in. I was like, ah, oh, all right, whatever. So, uh, but apparently she gets it approved. And so she heads out. I want you to notice this art, Okay. I want you to notice this art. Look how shitty this art is. And all of a sudden, the art is actually, like, significantly better. This is so sad because, like, she's actually really cute here. They, she has such a cool, like, costume and, like, look. And they just ruined it. They just ruined it on this book. Anyway. So, this kind of pissed me off. She's like, oh, what? First ever homemade meal for my abuela. So, okay, so I'm Hispanic. In Hispanic culture, everybody always talk. Every, no matter if we meet another Hispanic, they always talk about like how good their grandmother's food is, right? Every Hispanic does this. It's kind of annoying. I hate it when it happens because then like you have to kind of listen. I'm gonna tell you. You want to know what the secret? You want to know the secret why their food tastes good? Because they all grew up in the 1930s and 40s. They couldn't afford anything, so they utilized two things to cook. They used lard and they used adobo. There, boom. That's it. Because they couldn't afford salt. That's what they used. They couldn't afford salt and butter, so they used animal lard, pig fat, and adobo. Because it was cheaper than salt at the time. That's the secret. That's the big secret. All right. So if you ever want to, if a Hispanic ever tells you, oh, my grandmother cooks well, you just say, oh, yeah, I, I use Crisco and adobo also. And they're going to be like, oh, fuck. How'd you know that? That's the secret, guys. It's whatever. Anyway, we have a continuation of the bullshit Spanish. They decide to go on an adventure to the planet. They... This is, this is, like, the worst... Like, the whole point is that they have to, like, travel back to Planet Strong. And, uh, so they just double punch. And that's it. Oh, that's it. And they're in the, they're in the Pacific Ocean for some fucking reason. And that's it. 
Congratulations. You guys made it. That's the problem. There's, there's nothing, nothing interesting happens. Like, nothing cool happens at all. So they show up to... Uh, this is actually a famous place. I forgot where it is, though. But they show up there... She has to, like, become one with the crystal or some shit. And she even says it later on. She's like, yeah, so I had a spiritual moment or something. Like, literally, or something. Whatevs. Anyway, nobody cares. Who cares? Nobody cares. Oh, this is my fucking favorite part. Whoa, my wrist marks, they're glowing. Can you see them? Did Was this a plot point? Was this ever brought to our attention before this? Because I've read all the issues so far, and I've, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say anything about she has strange marks on her wrist gabby rivera is a horrible writer she doesn't know how to tell story she <clears throat> i hate gabby i hate gabby rivera if gabby rivera were a movie director she would be making shitty indie movies uh where the characters just kind of like mumble to each other and there's no plot there's no character development and that's it and it's like it's going to be like three days in the life of somebody where nothing happens that's what she would make so she has a spiritual moment with her the artist i'll actually i actually do like this art but the funny thing is the longer you look at it the more it sucks so but uh yeah and then of, of course of course all right I, I don't have to say anything else about that but and then look who is that yo she wants that she wants that obviously lost your focus america yeah okay whatever Anyway, so the Sabermen from <laughs> Dragon Ball Z show up. Okay, these are supposed to be Chupacabras. Chupacabras are, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Hispanic Bigfoot. Except they come and they, they, they suck the blood out of goats. And, they, like, everybody swear, everybody has, like, an uncle who swears that they've seen them. And I, like, some, some of my family back home in Venezuela are, uh, are farmers. And one in particular, one of my cousins swears that he saw a chupacabra and like and he has pictures of this one goat that the, the goat died of natural causes i'm telling you right now there's nothing happened to it but he swears that oh we found the goat and it had blood missing all oh, its blood was missing from it it had two pinpricks i saw the picture of the goat the goat the goat was still bleeding like there was blood coming out of the goat in the picture fuck i don't want to hear your shit ernie anyway so la legion you weren't kidding. They're everywhere. Anyway, whatever. So the whole trope of these guys is that they fight in groups. Just separate them and you'll kill them. Wow. Wow. The fucking word. Like, you know, for somebody who's like dressed like a luchador, she doesn't do any wrestling moves like at all. We have a front face, not a front face lock. We have like a side uh, headlock at a certain point. There you go. Side headlock. And then she gets bit by the fucking chupacabra. And then she gets dragged into the red cloud and then she's gone. And then the lesbian shows up. America, don't go in that cloud. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Anyway. This is actually kind of really pissed me off because this is where you... Hang on a second, I'll show you. This is where you really see that, like, she actually has, like, such a she's cool character design. That's I, I like that. That's actually... It's so, it's so wasted on her, like, on this book. It's really bad. Like, I don't know. Put her back in Young Avengers. You know, I have a Marvel... I have a Marvel Unlimited account. I'm thinking about reading Young Avengers. Young Avengers. I'm going through Planet Hulk right now on my own time. Just to see how bad Joe Hulk is. Anyway, this is the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger is I'm not leaving my grandmother in there. America, no. Oh, fuck. Look, look at this. But how long is a sun wave? Is America doing that stubborn my way or the highway thing again? I come back. I, shut the fuck up, Gabby. Shut the fuck up. This is, the, this is your last issue. This is your last issue design. Actually, this design's worse than the, than the one she had. I like this. I like how... I like how she looks here. Anyway, so the whole point of this was that, whoops, that's my Twitter. So, Gabby Rivera did an interview. We interview writer Gabby Rivera and talk America Chavez wrestling, 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 queer Latina. So look, it's the one thing I've noticed. SJWs tend to be massive wrestling fans. And I think I might do a full video on this because it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge wrestling fan also. I'm absolutely not an SJW. But it really doesn't make sense why they why they're such huge wrestling fans. Uh, th there's a meritocracy. Wrestling is a complete meritocracy. You should know wrestling should be a meritocracy, but it's not. And in fact, it's dictated by those who are in power. Anyway, whatever. I think I think there's a whole victim complex thing that, that goes into this. But so she talks about wrestling, and she's obviously she's a lapsed fan. She's not a fan anymore. When she talks about wrestling, she doesn't talk about uh, about lucha libre. She speaks about 
uh, American wrestling. So you base the whole character on Lucha, but you don't give a you obviously don't give a shit about it. Like do like two se- two seconds of research. I love this design of America. I love that picture of her. She could, she could be so cool. She could actually be really cool. She could actually be really cool. But but in the whole interview, she's just going on saying about uh, how like queer like. It's so important that we have a... And they always refer to it as brown. There's a brown Latino. I'm like... Ugh. That's all you care about. It's all you care about. These surface level... The surface level bullshit that, that in the end shouldn't define you. What should define you is the content of your character. Oh, who said that? But they don't care. It's not what it's... Because it's not what it's about. This is really just... I'm going to tell you what the big secret is. The big secret is that this is just a, a resume point. On Gabby Rivera's uh, resume. That's it. That's it. She can just put this down on her resume, and she can get a job at that website, Babes, that that, that exposed Aziz and Sorry. Like this is what this is what it was always supposed to be. Even on her, she doesn't advertise the book like almost never. I'm convinced nobody actually buys this book. I think it just gets ordered from Diamond in stores, and then they just like have it in the stores. Nobody really buys this. The only people who buy this are the people talk, doing this on YouTube. Uh, the trade sales are going to be horrendous. I really look forward to actually seeing what the trade sales for this are. And that, that, there's nothing... That, that, Gabby doesn't care about this. Gabby Rivera does not give a shit about this. And it's sad because this could have... America Chavez could have been a really good character. She could have been... like It could have been really innovative. Uh, I think they should have worked on her powers a little bit. I think the star portal punching power is stupid. Uh... But she could have been really cool. It's, they could have done something with this. It really irritates me. All right, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. There's one issue left. What does anybody? Is anybody going to care? Will the real question? The real question. Will this dip to five thousand sales? Will it? I think it might. I actually really think it might. Although I know that final issues tend to have higher uh, sales. I have a strange feeling. It was at. I think it was at seven k, or it was like right right next to eight k. I think there's a chance, it's definitely going to hit 6.5. I think there's a chance it's going to hit 5. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you all later.